everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. If this is your first time visiting the channel then my name is Rebecca and take a minute now just to subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up to date with all of my tutorials and things. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful cluster burst granny square. So you can see it's just a twist on a regular solid granny square except your corner stitches are these beautiful clusters which just give it a really nice and slightly different feel. Obviously this is just a generic square pattern and I will show you step by step how to complete it. This example that I'm showing here is actually an old discontinued yarn so there's not really much point me telling you about that but for the tutorial itself I will just be using some Shapies Colour Crafter which is my go-to everyday DK yarn and I will leave a link in the description for it. I'm also going to be using the recommended hook size for my DK yarn which is a 4mm and yeah it's a very easy pattern once you get into it, it's very repetitive and I really hope that you enjoy it. So we'll just jump straight in now. You can make it as big or as small as you like, obviously, as you can with any granny square. So obviously we're going to start with your slip knot on your hook. And we're going to start off with a chain of six. So yarn over and pull through. It's one. Yarn over, pull through. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. Then you're going to insert your hook into that first stitch and do a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And that now we have got a ring to start working our stitches into. So to start off you're going to do chain two and then we're going to be doing our first cluster stitch but this first one is different because our chain two is going to be counting as the first part of this cluster. So now we're going to do a two treble cluster. So remember I'm using UK terms here and in the US these will be your double clusters. So you're going to yarn over and insert into that centre ring, yarn over and pull up. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, go back into that centre ring, yarn over and pull up, you'll have four loops this time, yarn over, pull through two, and now you've got three loops again, and you'll yarn over, pull through all three loops. So that is your first cluster. We're then going to be creating a corner space. Now for the corner space it's totally up to you, you can chain either three or four. I'm personally going to do four. So one, two, three, four. And now into the centre ring you're going to do a full cluster. So this time it'll be a three treble cluster. So yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert through the ring, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and again, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and this time you will have four loops, yarn over, pull through all four loops, so that is a proper three treble cluster. You're going to chain two. And we're working now along what will eventually be a straight side and then you're going to do the other half of your straight side so you're going to go straight into another treble cluster. So yarn over pull through two, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through two, yarn over and insert, yarn over pull up, yarn over pull through two and then again yarn over pull through all four loops. Now we're going to be creating a corner, so again, chain four. And then you're going to create another straight side. So you're going to do treble cluster, chain two, 
treble cluster. And create your first one. Two. And three. And then yarn over, pull through all those loops. Chain two. And another treble cluster. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. And then again, we're at the corner space, so we're going to chain four. Like I say, you can chain three if you prefer. Now don't worry about your hole being quite large at this point because what you can do is use your tail at the end and as you sew around that tail you can really pull it quite tight. So you're going to repeat this again one more time for a straight side so a treble cluster, chain two, treble cluster. So make sure you do your chain two and then your other treble cluster. And then again chain over, uh, chain over, yarn over and pull through them all. Chain four for your very final corner space. And then you can see when you look now you've already got the first half of this straight side you just want one more treble cluster into the centre ring. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. Remember to do your chain two and then we are ready to slip stitch to the top of that first cluster that we did. So you will slip stitch So that is how you should be looking at this point and then as I say I'm just going to pull very slightly on that tail end now just to see how you can close it up but you can do that even more once you use your needle at the end to thread this tail around and around that centre circle and you can pull it and make that centre circle a bit smaller. Okay so to start the next round we're going to do a chain of four four, two, three, oops, and four. And that is going to count as a treble. So you've got a chain two for a treble. I don't like doing chain threes because I feel it makes your join too obvious. So we've got a chain two, which counts as one treble, and then a chain two, which will count as jumping across this cluster and to the corner space. So we're going to jump straight to this corner space now. So you're going to ignore this cluster completely and go straight to your chain four space. And we're going to create a new corner. Now we don't do chain fours anymore for our corner spaces. We only did that in the beginning so that it doesn't ripple up as we work. So the first round you'll have chained four or three potentially, but probably four. And then from now on, we only chain two in the corner spaces. So we're going to yarn over and treble cluster. So one, two, three. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. Chain two, which is going to create your new corner space. And then back into that same corner space, another treble cluster. Now we're going to work our straight edge, so we're going to jump this treble cluster by chaining two, so chain two. And then in between your clusters, you're going to put three UK trebles. So in the US, these are your doubles. So into that chain two space from the previous row, you will put three trebles. So one, yarn over and pull up pull through both, yarn over, pull through both, that's two, and three. 
Again now you're going to chain two to skip across that cluster and into your corner space again you're going to do a treble cluster, chain two, treble cluster. Make sure you put your chain two to create your corner and then your next treble cluster. And then again you're going to chain two, jump across your cluster and work three trebles into that chain two space. And you'll continue that all the way around now and I will meet you when you get back towards the other side in just a second. So for this final side we've already got our first treble which is counted in the chains that we did at the beginning. So we just want to put our final two trebles into this two chain space. So I've done my chain two and then two trebles into that chain space and then I'm ready to slip stitch so I'm going to find that second chain and slip stitch. So that is how you should be looking at the moment. To start the next round I'm going to do a chain two and then that's going to count as the treble for the top of this one on the row below and then I'm going to do two trebles into the chain two space which is just next to us here. So two trebles into that chain space. Chain two to jump to the corner space and then you're going to create your new corner with your cluster stitch, chain two, cluster stitch. Two and three, chain two and cluster. Again, chain two and jump across the cluster from the row below and into your chain two space here next to your trebles you're going to put two trebles because obviously these are our increasing stitches and then you're going to put one treble into the top of the three trebles from the row below so go through the whole of this stitch so one two and three and then two trebles again into the next chain two space chain two to jump across the cluster to the next corner space okay so then you'll do your corner which is your cluster chain two and cluster in that same space. Chain two and then you're ready <clears throat> and then you're ready to work your next straight side just as you did here. So you'll have your two trebles in that chain two space. one treble into each stitch from the previous row and then two trebles in that final chain two space. So if you continue that around now, do your chain two and then jump and do your corner space, your final straight side corner space and then we'll finish off this bit together. I would just say if you're really tight crochet and you find that your corners cinch up or curl up or something try doing the chain three in the corner instead of a chain two it might make the world of difference to you so that's just just in case you might be alright if you're quite a loose crocheter then you might find that you're okay with the chain two but if you're super tight then you may well want to do 
a chain of three in the corner spaces between your clusters but just obviously it's trial and error see what works best for you so working this final side now I've done my two trebles in my chain two space and then I've got my three trebles from the previous row we've already worked one of them with our chain two so we just want two trebles so one in each of the next two stitches to finish off this round and then you're going to slip stitch to the top of your chain two. So that is how we are looking again now. I'll do one final round with you because from now it's pretty simple to keep the pattern building because all we're going to be doing is adding stitches increases into our chain two spaces. So again chain two and then you've got two trebles from the row below so yarn over and work two trebles in so one into the next two stitches and then again you're at a chain two space so you will do two trebles chain two to jump across your cluster to the corner space and then you will do your corner so your treble cluster your chains and then your second treble cluster Oops. two three and then again chain two and you're going to work your straight side so you're going to do two trebles in the chain two space so these are your increased stitches so each round that you continue to do now each side should increase on the row below by four so you see we started with three and then we had seven and this time we'll have eleven and then the next round would be fifteen on each side and so on so now you're going to do one treble into the top of each stitch so you should be doing seven here seven and then increase into the chain two space so two trebles chain two and then again you're ready to do your corner so if you continue that all the way around and then I'll show you one last time closing off for the round. So this final edge now I've already worked into three of the trebles because one of them obviously was the chain two so I've got just four trebles to finish off this round. And then again you'll slip stitch to the top of your chain two and then you're either ready to finish off this round, the square, or you're just going to move on to the next round. So as I say, each time your stitch count along your straight edge will increase by four, but your corners will always stay the same with those beautiful clusters. So I'm really hoping you can see the pattern start to take shape there. And the square itself will, will itself. Gosh, I really can't speak today. The square itself will stay really lovely and square for you as well. So that is it for the tutorial. You can obviously join all of your little squares together, or you can just continue this and make a super big blanket or whatever it is you're planning to use it for. But it's just a nice twist on a normal granny square. So I will see you for another tutorial really, really soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.